Just over a year ago, on July 10, 2022, I published a video entitled, Revelation 12, Does It Point to the Rapture in the Year 5782? Clearly, a year later we can see in hindsight that this was not the case, and yet recently something made me take a second look at this idea. What if, instead of the theory I espoused in my last video, that the first five verses of Revelation 12 corresponded with the five years since the Revelation 12 sign appeared in the heavens on September 23, 2017, it's actually the first six verses, given that the event described in verse 6, the flight of the woman, Israel, into the wilderness, immediately follows the snatching away of the man-child, body of Christ, to God and his throne. Here is how this passage reads. Now a great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a garland of twelve stars. Then being with child, she cried out in labor and in pain to give birth. And another sign appeared in heaven, behold, a great, fiery red dragon having seven heads and ten horns, and seven diadems on his heads. His tail drew a third of the stars of heaven and threw them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman who was ready to give birth, to devour her child as soon as it was born. She bore a male child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up to God and his throne. Then the woman fled into the wilderness, where she has a place prepared by God, that they should feed her there 1,260 days. You can go back and watch the original video to find out what I discovered about the first five years, but in the sixth year, which is the year beginning at Feast of Trumpets 5783, and ending in about a month when the Jewish New Year begins again on September 15th to 17th 2023, the spotlight seems to be falling on Israel. In the last year, Benjamin Netanyahu has formed a new government in Israel and has encountered all kinds of opposition both from inside and outside the country. In recent months, Israel has been rocked by protests from people inside Israel who seem to have been deceived by those political forces within Israel who are opposed to Netanyahu's nationalist Zionist government, but there is also increasing friction with the three Iran-controlled proxy groups surrounding Israel, Hamas in Gaza, Hezbollah in Lebanon, and the Palestinian Authority in Judea and Samaria, who are allowing terrorist attacks from within their territory against Israeli citizens. Could it be that in the next month, as Russia wraps up its conquest of eastern Ukraine, Putin will assume his role of King of the North in Daniel 11 verses 40 to 45, which I have explored in earlier videos relating to the invasion from the north by Russian forces which will sweep down over land and see through the Black Sea region, via Turkey and Syria, into Israel. That's a tough call to make, but we can only watch and wait to see what happens next. If such an invasion does happen, or even if it appears that it is likely to happen in the near future, there could well be an airlift evacuation of civilians from Israel, primarily the religious Jews and Zionists who would be most at risk if there were an invasion of those forces which oppose the Jews having their own Zionist homeland in the land which their enemies stubbornly continue to call Palestine in spite of the fact that there has been an Israeli government in place there for over 75 years, since May 14, 1948. This airlift evacuation could well be carried out by the United States Air Force, which recently carried out a similar evacuation prior to the withdrawal of American and Allied forces from Afghanistan. This would seem to be described in Revelation 12 verse 14. But the woman was given two wings of a great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness to her place, where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time, from the presence of the serpent. My understanding of the eagle is that it represents the United States, the nation whose symbol is an eagle, and the wings of that eagle nation are its air force. So the USAF could well carry out that airlift, as there was a recent precedent for such an operation in Afghanistan. This could well be the only thing that the current US administration is prepared to do, given that they are not prepared to actually help Israel defend their homeland from the invaders. Of course, as I always say, any discussion of rapture dates is not prophecy or prediction, it is only speculation and may not come to pass as discussed. I'm not sure how many more videos like this I will make before the rapture, but if the Lord doesn't tarry, see you on the other side.